Good morrow, lovely little ghosts, and welcome to The Dark Orchard for Laura Watson's 13 Days of Vlogoween Disney Countdown. Mm. As I said in my intro, this is a Vlogoween video. More specifically, today I'm going to be doing Gabby Gabby makeup. <coughs> for those of you that don't know what Gabby Gabby looks like, wrong Gabby. This is Gabby Gabby. From Toy Story 4. And no, this is not the Why I Hated Toy Story 4 video, but that's coming eventually. Eventually, that's coming. But today, more wholesome, I'm going to be doing some cute doll makeup inspired by Gabby Gabby. Alrighty, so without further delay, let's get started. I've already put the wig on because Honestly, I just feel more comfortable doing wig first and then doing the rest of the makeup. So I've already got my foundation on. I've got lipstick on just because I feel naked if I don't have lipstick on. But this is not the lipstick that we're going to use. And I've also got the hair because I just feel more comfortable that way. I feel less naked when I've got the hair done and the lips done. And there's no rosacea peeking through. So without further delay, let's finish off this look. If you're not interested in the glam portion of this doll look. I will be doing a broken doll look at the end of this video. So I'll put a timestamp down in the description of when it changes over in case you just want to skip this portion. But I'd really like it if you stayed anyway and just kind of watched. <laughs> okay, first things first, I gotta uh, swoop these bangs out of the way. Whew. The bangs were poking me in the eyes, so we're gonna swoop them to the side for now. So a very noticeable characteristic that I do not have yet is freckles. So I've got to find a way to do freckles on my face. I'm going to be using this really narrow brush and Goth Topic by Wet n Wild for the freckles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit on the tip and then Gabby Gabby's freckles are placed along here and there's they're very defined so there's one here two three four and six and then on her cheeks they go in a zigzag so Alrighty, there are the freckles and I did put them in a precise order instead of doing like a splatter freckle like it was natural just because Gabby Gabby's freckles are a doll's freckles so they would be painted on and they would look so uniform. So you can see right here how it does zigzag on her cheeks and then she has three on one side and two on the other with one in the center. So now I'm going to move on to the cheeks. Gabby Gabby has a little bit of blush and a lot of highlight. So for my blush, I'm going to be using the Pac-Man blush lighter that you saw me unpack earlier. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Let's see. Too small, too big. Do, do, do. I'm going to take a fluffy brush if I can find one. And I'm just going to swirl it around, get a lot on there, and then swoop it around underneath those freckles, just like that. And then I'm going to swirl it around again, see how the product's there? And I'm going to do the same on this side, swirl it around right under the freckles, just like that. And then I'm going to use the Game Over Color Palette from that same video and I'm going to be using this white ghost right here to add just a little bit more shimmer and highlight onto that cheek. The shimmer makes it look more glass. Then a little bit to the nose and the brow bones. Never too much shimmer. Okay, I'm going to use this little brush. I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. 
and I'm probably going to use one of these shades down here or one of the orange shades. Um, I think I'm going to use this orange down here and go over the lid. Gabby Gabby doesn't really wear eyeshadow, so I'm just going to go over with some like complementary colors like some orange and maybe a yellow on top of that. So the lid is going to be orange. And then I'm going to take another brush and do yellow. And next, because she is a doll and she has wide eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white to line my eyes and also put a little white in the corner. Next, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Well, that just happened. Gotta let that dry. <laughs> now I'm gonna remove that lipstick and change my lipstick into something more Gabby Gabby appropriate. Gonna be using this color instead. And then over top of that, to give it a little bit more of a pinkish shine, I'm going to be using Hell's Bells by Medusa's Makeup from their Metal AF Lip Gloss Collection. Again, this is shade Hell's Bells from Medusa's Makeup. One of my absolute favorite makeup brands. There we go. So that is it for the Gabby Gabby makeup portion. Let's throw in some pictures of it now. And then we'll jump into the SFX portion. Alrighty, that's the Gabby Gabby Glam portion. Let me just talk about this cute little outfit. It came from Amazon, super cheap. Also came with the bow ties, and that made me really happy because I love when things come with accessories. So I got this cute little dress. It is a Toy Story official dress in a woman's plus size, so that was really exciting. And I already had the hair, and the cute thing about this hair is that it can turn into a bop. I love the claw clip pigtail extensions because they help secure things into place and it's not as wobbly when you have the pigtail extensions because you can clip into your normal hair through your wig cap. But if you do use pigtail wigs, be very careful not to clip your ears and not to clip too tight into your normal hair because you will get a headache. I speak from experience. Okay, so for the SFX version, I'm just going to do a few cracks and breaks because when you drop a porcelain doll, it just kind of cracks the face or it just knocks a big hole in the face, one of the two, because they're made of porcelain glass. And from what I can tell, Gabby Gabby is mostly porcelain. She looks like one of those dolls that has the porcelain legs and hands and head but then her body's soft. I think that's kind of what they were going for. Potential Toy Story 4 spoilers, but I'm going to talk a little bit about Gabby Gabby and her history so that we can explain the makeup a little. It's not really a spoiler as much as it is just character development, but just a fair warning, there may be a Toy Story 4 spoiler if you don't want to know anything about her as a character before you go into the film. But if you're watching this, I hope that you at least have some idea of what she looks like and things like that. Okay, so a little insight into Gabby Gabby. In case you haven't seen Toy Story 4, you don't care to, or you just don't remember, her voice box is missing. So I was thinking as a twist on a broken porcelain doll slash voice box, I think I'm going to be doing some, like, a crack on her neck and then also maybe like a crack on the cheek like she was dropped and that's why the voice box doesn't work instead of it being defective right out of the factory. 
how to quickly and cheaply do a broken doll makeup. So I'm actually going to do, so I'm actually going to do a crack down from the eye and a crack across the throat. So I'm actually going to be using this really dark gray from the Wet n Wild paint palette. I think this is the smoky palette. Yep, yeah, the smoky palette. I'm going to be using the dark gray because I can't find my black. And since I'm not actually going to be going out in this, I'm going to be using the cream paints. If I was going out in this, I would be using like a waterproof eyeliner or a water activated paint instead of the cream paints. But because I'm doing this very quickly, I'm just going to be using these and I'm going to be using the dark gray. And over top of it, I'm probably going to use the black from the Palais Royale palette. So I'm going to start with the eye. When a porcelain doll is dropped, the crack, it's thick at the beginning and rails off a tree limb. So that's what we're going to do here. Then I'm going to take a angled brush and use the black from the Palais Royale palette to go over top of that. And to offset that, I think I'm going to do like a little break over here on this cheek just to like balance it out a little bit. And also, I think I'm going to put, where is it? I think I'm going to put black eyeshadow around this eye so that I can close it and it looks darker. I guess I'm going to go a little wilder with this than I meant to, but I'm going to actually come off of this break and do more breakage over here. Gonna do a little breakage right here just to offset it. So, fun fact about me, I actually collected porcelain dolls as a teen, and I would love to do a porcelain doll haul for you guys, so if you'd really like to see that, let me know down in the comments if you'd want to see that, because I would love to do one. I was obsessed with Ashley Bell dolls, and I'll go more into detail with that if you want that video, so be sure to let me know if you want that. Last, I'm going to do the throat. Now, as you see, I have this little slit throat crease on my neck anyway so I think I'm just gonna go along that and branch out from it like it's cracked so I'm gonna start right here at the vocal cords do a line like that and then trail some outwards then once again I'm going in with the black shadow Alrighty, that is the SFX Halloweenish part of my Gabby Gabby makeup. Of course, if I was going out in this, things would be different. I'd make these a lot darker. I'd probably add a little bit of glycerin to the outsides of it. And of course, to my cheeks to make them pop and glow. But I wanted you to sort of get an idea of how to do broken glass on the skin without going to like extreme shadows and all of that. This gets the point across. Of course, you could go even deeper into it. You could add scar wax around each individual little groove and make it look like it's deep inset into your skin. That's an option too. You could use liquid latex. I've used, I've used both methods. In previous videos. Both of my Valentine's Day videos will show you those techniques. This is just a plain on the surface using regular makeup kind of break. And I think it turned out really cute. So for the comments down below I want you to tell me who your favorite Toy Story character is. Like not just Toy Story 4. Tell me who your favorite Toy Story character is and please don't say Forky. I hope you enjoyed this vlogoween video and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye.
See you real soon.